By close of business on Monday, both Masaka and Gulu Regional Referral Hospitals had accumulated 66 active COVID-19 admissions and cumulatively discharged 77 and 159 people consecutively. The two hospitals now handle COVID-19 cases arising from local transmissions and imports from other countries like South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, districts like Chotera, Rakai, Arua and refugees. According to the State Minister in charge of primary health care, Dr. Joyce Moriku Kaduchu, the Lord is straining the two hospitals' budgets. All the regional referral hospitals have been given the same amount of money. They have been given 272 million. The hospitals like Igulu, hospitals like Masaka, that have got more cases of COVID-19, they have utilized the resources that was given to them. That is why there was no money to pay allowances for the healthcare workers. And you recall that that budget was made for a period of three months. That was from March up to the end of June. The fatigue has now trickled down to the health workers and their patients. Minister Kaduchu says they are aware of the challenges faced by health workers and are working towards resolving them. Arrangements are being made so that more resources are sent to these hospitals and they are in position to take care of the staff. Dr. Bruce Chirenga a member of the Science Committee on COVID-19 says the patients are turning aggressive towards the health workers. I understand that confinement is not very present. However, if we left you in your home, probably you have been traveling from somewhere, you got infected, we don't detect you and you go to your home. You have a risk of infecting your family. However, Dr. Kaduchu says the ministry is struggling to find ways to have the patients counseled. Counseling needs you and me to be close to one another. You need to be well protected for, the, for this case. When we are sitting together and I'm talking to you, and it's not also easy, it goes with a lot of challenges, so it's really a difficult situation, but I'm happy the healthcare workers have tried really their best. As of today, Uganda has confirmed 971 COVID-19 cases, 202 of which are active with 896 recoveries. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.